By way of introduction, my name is Tim Freeman. I'm the, uh, I'm the, I'll be the seventh grade coach here in Summit. I've coached uh, in Milburn, and we've been over here for about three years now. Um, the, the league asked me two years ago to start to install a heads-up locking program around the New Jersey Suburban Youth Football League to try to teach these kids how to play the game at a very high level across all positions where we're reducing head contact right, and reducing it significantly. The one, the one great thing that we find is, is we start to work with really high level technique. Um, we find that that technique naturally drives the head or calls for the head never to be in the, in, a, in the play, either tackling or blocking or shutting blocks. So when Russ Yeager asked me to start to install a heads up blocking program, I looked at the programs that were available to us to, to start to implement. And I found Scott Peters, who is a seven year NFL veteran uh, and then a two-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion. And he, like a lot of us, found out after football, you know, all the, the things that were available to us to be better at football. And, and, and unfortunately, some of us learned it after we were done playing. So Scott works with NFL uh, teams on both schemes and technique. He works with college uh, colleges. He works with entire school districts across Texas, Arizona, and other states. Well, they'll hire him to install his program across the entire high school um, spectrum in their uh, in their district. So Scott has has multiple levels of his program, and as you can imagine, working with NFL players and college players, he gets very very specific and into great detail in the nitty, nitty gritty. What I've asked him to do is to teach his his his, his base program, which is uh, principles of contact, level one principles of, principles of contact. The goal, moms and dads and caretakers and you kids is for us to teach you guys how to win right win individual battles on the football field without using your head hit be hit take contact give contact without using your head so we're gonna we're gonna I've asked Scott to teach basic concepts to you guys today that are gonna get you guys all safer right right all much more uh, uh, technology or technically sound and better football players all right. There are if you're if you're an ex uh, college player or uh, uh, player in high school and you've got other more specific questions, parents, right? And you say, Scott, well, I've heard this or I've heard that. Pull Scott aside; he's happy to answer questions. But keep in mind, like there are three big things that we want the kids to learn. USA Football did a study, and they they found at all levels of football, the number one skill that all players need to more work on and development on is come to balance. Simply being able to move in space, control your own body, and come and decelerate and come to balance. That's, it's really pretty crazy. But at all levels, that's the one skill. So we're going to teach the kids how to come to balance. We're going to teach them how to play long. And we're going to teach them how to roll their hips. And if we get those three things done today, they will, they will be able to play any position right, on offense and defense. And they'll be able to play it better. And they'll be able to play it safer. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Scott, Scott Peters. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. And uh, John Schmetting, John played, uh, John is a 61-year-old savage. Are you 61? No, 60, thanks. 60, I'm sorry. At this point. Well, the guy's a freak. And uh, he played at Boston College, and he played in the NFL as well. And uh, he's, he's a coach now at Don Bosco Prep. But, uh, we got connected, and, and I'm just grateful for guys like Tim and, and uh, John, and, and a lot of you guys, have, and some of you guys were here last year, and our, our whole objective is to try to elevate the performance of every kid, um, and obviously the, the name of the game is safety. We love the game of football, but we just don't have to go through the same arduous process that, that I went through, that Tim went through, that John went through, where, uh, where, you, where you're smashing your face into somebody. I don't know how many of you guys learned how to, you guys ever move furniture around your house with your head? You do? Come on, man. I do. That's not good. All right. We use our hands. But there's better ways to move people. So the issue was when when uh, when I was playing, it was just always you know, you know, just crack them in your face. And now we're hearing we're hearing things. We know things about about what that does to the brain. Um, you guys want to? Everyone in this room, I want to see you guys go on and do something special with your life. You with your lives. I mean, everybody. And so uh, we don't need to go out there and use our head as a, as a battering ram. There's a better way to do it. And and that's why. Uh, there are guys, the best guys in the league, in the NFL, the best guys in the, in the game, are doing these things that we're going to show you. It's just that the information isn't available. So 
and it comes at a, at a high cost when you have, you know, you adapt and, and eventually come to that. And these guys haven't necessarily been taught these things. They just adapt and evolve over the course of many years of playing. Um, and that's kind of how I, how I learned how to do things. But um, we, yeah, we're, we're excited about this. We want you guys, every kid in this room, I want you guys to ask questions. I want you guys to be enthusiastic. I've seen some of you guys here before. You guys are here. It's awesome. So let's try to like, like thrive on that. Let's have some fun today. And really just um, key in on the details because the details are critical. We get into details. And when I was playing, there wasn't any details. It was, go smash the guy in front of you. So, you know, that's that's what that was. And if anybody you got, any of you guys out there played, I'm sure you saw that too. So we're, we're, we're trying to really hone in on the details. And that's what's going to make everybody better today. We're going to start off. We're going to show you guys a technique called the double pillar. And that's a technique that um, we typically uh, use for, for, line, or for, uh, for defensive players in the NFL and, and college levels. But it's a technique that's a foundation level technique that we can use for blocking and for shedding blocks as, as offensive players and, and defensive players. Um, it's, a, it's about playing long with the arms. We call it a pillar because a pillar has to be straight to hold a building up. So what do we think our arms are going to be when we engage contact? Straight, yeah. So when we say to you guys, hey, get your arm, don't, no, bend, no bend in the elbows. You guys already know that right now, okay? We're gonna get back out there. We'll sh I'm sure guys will do it. We're gonna try to work through that. I wanna make sure we're always engaging long, okay? And we're gonna show you a couple videos quickly and um, we'll be on our way. All right, so, got these lights. The double pillar is a two-handed strike for defenders to engage blockers in close proximity 